Hi there, my name is Chris, sales manager for Sony Vision in Bolton, and you're looking at a fantastic new product range today from Sony. Two models in this range, the KDL46 HX823 and the KDL55 HX823. The model we're showing here is the 55 inch version, but it's the same specification on both models, apart from one factor, which is the power consumption. On the 46 inch, it's 83 watts. On the 55 inch, it's 115 watts. So let's run through some of the specification briefly for you. First of all, they are full HD, book up with 720p, 1080i or 1080p resolution. They've also got the latest Freeview HD tuners built into them. So from your normal standard TV aerial, you will now get BBC, ITV, Channel 4 in high definition. No need for any external devices such as satellite or cable boxes. If you want a free HD service, this has got the latest Freeview HD tuners built into it. As long as you've got that service being broadcast in your area, you've got a free HD service in this particular uh, model range. They've also got Wi-Fi technology built into them, so they will access your internet system wirelessly. No need for any external dongles or anything like that. The Wi-Fi technology is built into this range, so you can access Facebook, Twitter, you've got web browser, um, Skype facility. We're going to go through and have a look at some of the facilities on this TV regarding the web functions in just a moment. Uh, the set itself has also got 200 hertz scanning, so they scan extremely quickly. And using Sony's uh, XR Motion Flow technology, it will actually up that rate, uh, rate into uh, a pseudo sort of 400 hertz using the backlight system. So extremely good motion control as well, so you're going to get no delay or drag in the image. Now we've spoken before about one of the most important factors to look for for specification on a TV is the contrast ratio. Now this uses uh, edge LED technology, so you get an extremely slim panel, but you get an extremely high contrast. The contrast level is in excess of 2 million to 1. So you're getting really good black levels on here, which gives you great detail um, in the darker areas of the, of the screen itself. Really good natural color palette as well. So extremely high contrast ratio. Uh, it's also 3D ready. Uh, the 3D technology is built into this TV. You just need to purchase some Sony 3D glasses from ourselves, and you're also up and running with 3D. So this particular TV range, they do really tick all the boxes. They are 3D ready, so if you want 3D, you can upgrade it to 3D. You've got Wi-Fi internet built into them. You've got a free HD content with a Freeview HD tuner. Extremely high scanning ratio, so very good, con good control of any fast movement on there as well. Now, before we go into the menus and take a closer look at some of the functions on this TV, let's have a look at the sockets on the rear. First of all, just saying, the set itself is extremely slim, only three centimeters in depth. Lends itself really well to being wall mounted because all the sockets are either side or mounted just underneath here. So they're all facing either down or away to the side of the TV rather than directly on the back facing out. So very good for wall mounting. Uh, your aerial socket, which is just here, so everything just plugs in underneath. So there's nothing projecting out from the back of the TV so you can get it really close to the wall. So on the back of here, I said you have got wireless technology built into the TV, but you have got an Ethernet port just here. So you've got a LAN connection on here. So that's your aerial for Freeview HD. You've then got two more um, sockets here, which you get in the box with the TV, some cable adapters. That's one of the cables there, which I'll see if I can get you a better look of that. That's basically a component adapter. You've got the red, green, and blue, and the red and white at the side of it is the audio input. Now, some, T, uh, some games consoles and DVDs use components. So the set itself, basically, that would plug underneath just there into that socket. And then you've got your component connection there. But it leaves everything nice and slim on the back of the TV. Again, you've no sockets protruding out to the, uh, to the rear. You've also got the same thing. You've got the SCART adapter. That would just plug into the AV input just there. And then you've got a SCART connection on there as well. So you've got a couple of cable adapters there, which you do get in the box. Next to that, you've got two HDMIs, uh, of which HDMI 1 is uh, wired for uh, audio return control. So if you've got a, a modern AV amp with HDMIs on, it'll take the uh, ARC system, the ARC, uh, then HDMI 1 on here will do that for you. So you can feed the sound from the TV via the HDMI. On the side of the TV, you've got a couple of USBs. So if you've got memory sticks or any information you want to plug into the TV, you can do so. Uh, if you want to plug an external hard drive into record TV information, you can do that again through uh, the uh, USB sockets. Cam slot for any pay-per-view material. Another two HDMI's, so making four HDMI's uh, in total on there. You've also got um, a optical out, so if you want to feed the sound out of this TV via optical, you can do so uh, into an external amplifier. You've then got a uh, PC input and also headphone socket as well. 
The fixings for the wall for this particular model are 300 mil. So before we have a look at the uh, menu system on the TV, let's just take a look at the set itself. I mean, not only have we got a TV here with some of the best specifications that you'll find on any sets that are out there at the moment, we've got a beautifully designed product as well. It's part of Sony's monolith design, uh, where the screen itself is just one sheet of glass, comes right up to the edge of the panel. There's no external sort of framework around this screen. It's just one piece of glass right up to the edge of the panel itself. They're only three centimeters deep. They come with uh, the base, so you can put it on the plinth here, um, or you can take this off and have it wall mounted. It is on a swivel base, and it does also have a six degree tilt uh, backwards as well. So a beautifully designed product. So let's have a look at some of the menu systems. The remote control itself, uh, you've got the options button just here, the home button up, down, right, and left on the keypad, and OK in the center. Well, first of all, we'll press the options button. We'll look at some of the menus on screen. What it will do now is basically keep the bulk of the screen clear for you. You can still watch the program that you're looking at, but you've got then the menu system coming down here. So we've got picture sound, screen formats, uh, you've got the 3D menu because it is 3D ready. You've got things like track ID, a nice little function on this particular range where if there's a piece of music playing on the TV and you're not sure what that music is, just click the track ID and it'll identify that piece of music for you. Well, first of all, let's take the uh, the picture itself. So press OK, which is in the center button just here on the remote control, and it'll put us into the picture settings for the TV. So now we've got the various options running down here. If we click down to where it says standard, these are preset modes from the manufacturer. So we can tweak these up to standard, vivid, custom, and you probably see the contrast, brightness, and color changing slightly as we flick through those particular settings. However, you can go into any one of those settings and adjust the backlight, the contrast, just highlight the one that you want to adjust, click on it, press OK, and adjust on the remote using the right or left keypad just on the center here, and just accordingly to how you want that to look. As on the set, you've got uh, brightness, color adjustments, you've got color temperature, which is on warm too. You had again, different options in that. You've got um, the warm facilities on there, neutral and cool. If you're on cool, it introduces a bit more blue into the overall image. If you're on the warm settings, it introduces a bit more red into the image itself. Or you can go for the neutral setting uh, and adjust accordingly to how you want the picture to look. Uh, separate sharpness adjustments. Again, you can adjust accordingly for um, sharpness on there. As we come down to further adjustments, uh, if you go into the advanced systems that are on this set, uh, which are there, it will give you even further adjustments for the picture. For things like um, black correctors, advanced contrast, where if you switch that on, it'll give you even um, uh, deeper black levels. Gamma adjustments on there, and you've got then things like white balance adjustments, where you can go into each primary color, red, green, and blue, and alter for um, gain and bias accordingly. So you can really tweak up the image itself. If we go back into the options menu, and we'll have a quick look at the uh, sound options for you. So in the sound menu, it will give us adjustments yet again, preset adjustments from the manufacturer. At the moment, it's on dynamic, um, but you can select that between clear voice or standard. And as you select those, uh, basically you'll see the settings change on the screen. If you select clear voice yet again, it will tend to project vocals clearer for you, putting down on any background noise. And as I say, if you go into any of the others, uh, such as standard or dynamic, yet again, you've seen the settings change on here. But you can go into any one of those and override it. So if you want to adjust the treble, just highlight it. You can bring the treble down if you find there's too much treble on it. And if we go down to where it says surround, you'll find you've got adjustments there for surround off or on. We'll attempt to throw the sound out and around you as well. I said it has got a very good sound system on this particular range. So let's have a look at the internet functions for you now that you've got on here. Press the home button, which is the one here. And again, puts a different menu up on screen for you. You can see uh, the information down the right hand side here will change as we click through the different menus. So as we go through here, we've got uh, Bravia internet video. If we go further along, you've got things like Skype, internet browser facility, and you've got Twitter and Facebook. So there's a lot of adjustments that you can get into regarding internet functions on here. If we highlight one of these now, so if we have a look at, say, uh, Bravia Internet Video, just press OK. That's all you're doing the sensitive here and using up, down, right, and left. It's loading now the different options. 
So I've got on there things like BBC iPlayer for catch-up TV, Five On Demand, YouTube. Yet again, using the keypad up, down, right and left. Just jog along to any of those. Uh, as I said, you have got the uh, wireless technology built into here, so it'll just pick up on your wireless network at home. It's very easy to use. Now uh, loading up the uh, YouTube site, and then you would just yet again pop down to any one that you want, um, just highlight it, press OK, and it will put that information up on screen for you. This particular product range um, are on display in both our stores, in Bolton and Leeds. They're also on our website, which is soundinvision.co.uk. Go through to our website, you will find hundreds of video clips on there, both on plasma, LCD, LED TV. We also find them on home theater systems, AV amplifiers, and speaker systems as well. So it's well worth a visit to our website to have a look at these products because there are hundreds of video clips on there to give you a slight more in-depth look at the product itself rather than just looking at blank text. You'll also find some of the best prices in the UK on there with free delivery. So take a look through there. Um, Give me a call if you want to discuss anything. My name is Chris on 01204 861 861. Only two, please to go through it with you. Thank you.